Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna to continue working with our place value chart in the vertical form. So our learning goal for today says, I can relate manipulatives or math drawings on a place value chart to the vertical form. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board and your place value chart. And remember, if you don't have a place value chart, you can just draw one on your dry erase board with hundreds, tens, and ones. All right, so make sure you have those materials before we get started. All right, friends, here's our first problem, 54 plus 68. So let's rewrite this problem vertically and model both numbers on the place value chart. So for this first problem, I'm gonna do all the work for you and you guys just have to sit back and pay attention, but make sure to pay close attention because okay, you're gonna so have a couple problems to do on your own vertically in just a minute. Make sure that you line your numbers up in the ones place, nice and neat on top of each other. So the four and eight should be together lined up. And in the tens place, the five and six should be lined up nice and neat on top of each other. Here's my place value chart. To model 54, I would need five tens, four ones. And to model 68, I would need six tens, eight ones. Now, what place do we start in when we're adding or subtracting? Is it the tens place or the ones place? Yeah, it's the ones place. So we can look at our place value chart and we can look in vertical form. Now, how can we determine if we need to bundle the ones to compose a 10 just by looking at the ones place in vertical form? So if I didn't have my place value chart, how could I just use the ones place to be able to help me determine if I'm going to bundle and compose a 10? Yeah, if we look at the eight, we know that it only needs two more to make a 10 and there's four, so that's more than two. Or we could just kind of quickly look at that and say eight plus four equals 12 and that's a 10 and two ones. So we could kind of just take like a quick look to see if we need to do that. Let's rename the 12 ones in the ones place on the place value chart and show what we did in vertical form. So here's my 10 ones. I'm gonna make that as a 12 or a 10. So now I have one 10 and two ones. What's our next step? Yeah, we're gonna go to the tens place, right? All right, so let's look in the tens place before we look at our place value chart. Okay, so just in the vertical form. Do we need to rename or compose 100? Yes, we sure do, right? Because we're gonna have more than 10 tens. So here's my 10 tens. I'm going to compose them into 100. So now I'm left with two tens and 100. All right, friends, let's look at a new problem. So we have 38 plus 65. This time, you guys are gonna do this problem. You're gonna rewrite vertically and solve with your place value chart and vertical form. So go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's rewritten in vertical form. 38 is three tens, eight ones. 65 is six tens, five ones. I know that I'm gonna start in the ones place and I'm gonna compose a 10 because I knew that there was more than 10 ones. So those 10 ones are now going to become a 10. And then to model that in my place value or my vertical form, I have one new 10 and three ones. And then I move into my tens place and I can compose those 10 tens into a hundred. So now I'm left with zero tens and one new hundred. So 38 plus 65 equals 103. Did you guys get that? All right, awesome. If not, it's okay, we're gonna practice and do another one. Okay, so here's another problem for you. 126 plus 57. We're gonna do the same thing and rewrite it vertically and solve with your place value chart and in vertical form. So go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. So 126 is 100, two tens, six ones. 57 is five tens, seven ones. Again, we always start in our ones place and I'm looking to see, do I have 10 ones? Well, I know that seven plus six is more than 10. 
So for sure, I'm going to have 10 ones that I can bundle and compose a new 10 with. Now I have one new 10 and three ones. Now I'm going to go to my tens place next. There's not enough tens to make a hundred. So I just have five plus two, which is seven plus one more, which is eight. And then my hundreds just has 100. So 126 plus 57 equals 183. All right, friends, let's do one more problem. So we have 115 plus 85. So you're going to rewrite it vertically and solve with your place value chart and vertical form. So go ahead and pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. So I wrote it nice and neat vertically. I'm gonna model my numbers in the place value chart. 100, 110, five ones. That model's 115. And then 85 is eight tens and five ones. Now I know that five plus five in the ones place, that makes 10. So now I have one new 10. I have one new 10 that I can put in my vertical form. And then I have no ones left over. Now I'm gonna look at my tens. Oh, I know that I have 10 tens right there as I count through. So eight, nine, 10, 10 tens. So I'm gonna compose that into 100. Now I'm left with zero tens and now I have an extra 100 there. So now when I count my hundreds, I have two hundreds. So 115 plus 85 equals 200. All right, good job with that one, friends. All right, you guys got this. You did a great job relating your work on a place value chart to the vertical form. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.